Have you ever seen these deck overlays on Twitch or YouTube and wondered if you could do it too? Well, it's quick, it's easy, and it's free. And if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey guys, Aerosounds here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the deck tracker and what advantages it can give to you and how it works. For full disclosure, this video isn't sponsored. I did in the past receive a month's free subscription to one of their premium services on hsreplay.net, one of the other services they offer, but it's unrelated to this video and this is the deck tracker that I recommend. So first thing you want to do is go to hsdecktracker.net or in Google just type in Halfstone Deck Tracker, it will come up. It takes you straight to this page, it's very simple and you click on whichever one you're downloading it for. So once you've installed it and you open up the deck tracker, this is what it looks like. Everything's very intuitive and easy to use. Now yours will look slightly different to start with because you won't have loaded up your decks yet, but don't worry, that's really easy to do. All you need to do is launch Hearthstone and go to the play mode and your decks will automatically launch. And also once you start a game, the overlays will automatically appear as well. So you can see down this left hand side is, is my decks. This one here is my budget mid-range hunter that I've recently done a video on. You can see an 88% win rate, 15 wins, 2 losses, which is pretty good. To be fair though, it's a, it was at lower ranks, but um, it's good for you to be able to track the statistics so that you can see how well that you're doing. This uh, pie chart here also shows your games and who you played against. So you can see I've played mostly against Priest and Shaman. 24% of my games each were against them, which is typical of the ladder right now. It also has a list down below of the games that you've played um, and what the result was. At the top here you've got the global statistics which come from hsreplay.net. I would recommend checking that out as well because it shows statistics from a broad range of games. People upload their data to the system and you can see this deck that I'm playing now, although I've got an 88% win rate, on average it gets 57% so you can review that before you start playing and think well actually 57% is a pretty good win rate maybe I'll have a go with that deck and it shows you which classes it wins its matchups against so it has a 70% win rate against mage so very good and its weakest win rate is against the rogue at 50% but still if you can get uh, have a 50-50 chance against um, any deck and above that's pretty impressive down the side here it shows you all the cards that are actually in the deck you can see the mana cost, so the curve that I've got in the deck. So that's quite important to see if you're reviewing a deck you've built. You can assess your curve to make sure you've got enough um, lower cost minions and maybe if you've got too many higher cost spells or minions as well. If you click on the mechanics, it will tell you I've got 13 battle cry and 5 death rattle in the deck. So it's all really smooth, easy to use and, and I really enjoy it. Now, if you want to use this for your games, you need to make sure that the deck tracker is open first. Um, there is a launcher here, so you can launch the game straight from here, which is probably best practice so that you know you've already opened it. So we'll launch it now and I'll show you what it looks like. So now that we're in the game, you can see how the overlay works. You've got my attack on the board here. It's got three attack, one plus the two on my weapon. Opponent's currently got zero. That'll change with that one that he plays. On the right hand side is probably the most important thing and this is what um, I would use always is my deck is on the right hand side. And that is really important because I can tell what I've used and what I've still got left in my deck. So when I'm making decisions I can think oh I've only used one Maelstrom portal, um, maybe I'll, I'll draw another one later so if, I've, if I need it or if anything I know I've still got it in there to back me up. I can then if I'm playing this Evolve Shaman for example about 10 turns into the game I can have a look and say right how many of my evolves have I used um, what's still remaining in my deck so it helps you to make those decisions that really can count in the game um, and all the all of the best players will do that they will understand their own deck um, it helps you to learn it if you're new but also once you know it inside out it helps you to understand what you've still got and what kind of answers you've got against the opponent on the left hand side um, it shows what cards the opponent has played now this is a bit more advanced but it's also really useful and something you should get used to looking at because if you're playing against an opponent's deck and after the first couple of turns you recognize what sort of deck it is, maybe you've played it before or you've seen other people play it, then you'll know what kind of cards they've got in their deck. So if you're playing Paladin for example and you're, putting a lot, you're committing a lot to the board but they haven't played a single Consecration yet 
and they you can see how many cards they've got in their hand you think okay maybe they've got a consecration maybe I should hold back a minute another thing I like is that um, if you hover over any of the cards it tells you the exact um, details of that card so it tells you exactly what they are so you can see the ones that your opponents played in case they played something you didn't recognize you can read it back and have a look also kind of another cool feature um, when you hover over one of your cards you can see in the bottom right hand corner it gives you the description that Blizzard adds to each card and like I never usually read those because those are um, just in the deck selection stage uh, in the card selection areas but some of the things can be quite funny it's easy to double gangster everyone every me get in here okay guys I hope you enjoyed this guide if you did like the video please like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot I'll leave a link in the description on how to get to the Hearthstone deck tracker but I hope you enjoy it and I hope it helps you improve your games and I'll see you in the next video